I'm unspeakably honoured that Quiet has been named the 2023 winner of the John Pollard International Poetry Prize. Quiet is a book that thinks about black interior life, but it also considers what it means to gather, to move together in steadfast, hopeful action across time, space, and through the dark, as well as the light. I exist within an ecosystem of makers, thinkers, scholars, creatives and enthusiasts who have in so many ways supported me across the years and without these people and their brilliance, writing would be such a lonely pursuit. It takes a village to bring a book into the world and I'm in deep gratitude to the individuals who have held this work and myself with such love. I want to name and thank Kevin Kwashi for his remarkable, tender work, The Sovereignty of Quiet, and to the brilliant Lene Denise for bringing me to that book. I want to thank Emma Patterson and Monica McSwan at Aitken Alexander for being there every step of the way. I want to thank Lavinia Singer and um, Matthew Hollis for taking such good care of me at Faber and Faber. Um, and Matthew for seeing even what I could not see in my own words. And I want to thank John Freeman at Knopf for so lovingly giving this book new wings and allowing it to fly even further overseas. It's truly my sheer good fortune to know and work with each of you. You never know what might happen once a book leaves your hands. You simply hope that it will do good work in the world and that it might find its people, whoever they are. And I want to close then by extending my heartfelt thanks to the judges, Owen McNamee, Philip Coleman, Vona Grok and Alice Lyons for their time with this book. I would also like to thank Stephen Vernon, patron of this prize and for whose grandfather it's named and Linda Doyle, Provost of Trinity College Dublin, for making this award possible, for all of the encouragement it offers, for all of the ways that it says, keep going, keep writing. Truly, thank you.